So I'm going to try to do a voiceover here. A friend of mine gave me a piece of bamboo, so I figured I'd try to do something a little different. Decided to go ahead and make a mallet out of bamboo. Right here I'm using my CNC to cut the handle. I used the CNC mainly because I knew I could get the two degrees on the top of the handle. Pretty accurate without trying to cut it freehand on the bandsaw. It turned out really nice. Here I'm cutting my strip of bamboo to make the head out of. I think I cut that three and a half inches wide. the head I'm gonna mark out two pieces for the inside sandwich at two degrees made the bamboo I made the mallet head around five inches long then here I'm just splitting the difference that little ruler was a half inch wide so it's one inch at the bottom and then whatever the taper ends up being, I think it's like an inch and an eighth or something like that, or an inch and a quarter at the top. And I used uh, my uh, angle finder there to set the two degrees on the saw, because like an idiot, I did not see that my saw had two degrees. I thought for some reason I thought it went in five degree increments or something. Here I'm cutting the two degrees and realize I can't do it that way, so I flipped it over and just cut the two degrees on the opposite side. Now I'm back to zero, or 90. And then I cut my two halves that go on the outside of the sandwich. That bamboo feels a little brittle, but I don't know. I've beat it around a little bit. It seems to hold up quite well. And right here, I'm just getting ready of fitting everything up so that I can glue it up. drive two brad nails in just to hold it in place so I can get my clamps on it without it sliding all over the place. Little glue. Just now I what I'll do is just put that in there to fit it in place and then I'll drag the two tacks in it. Clamp her up, she's good to go. I scraped out all the glue here because I just didn't want to deal with it later. It's easier to do it this way. Fitting things up looks pretty good. This is about 30 minutes later. I just let the glue set up a little bit and then I do the uh, outside board for the sandwich. Sounds funny saying sandwich. I turned the volume down on this video a little bit to do the voiceover. Here I clamp it up, tweak it out. It's, it's it slipped around a little bit, so I just beat it back into place. And I made several of these mallets out of different wood and everything. I'll show it to you at the end. But the bamboo I, I just thought was interesting. I have not seen one online made of uh, bamboo. Just flushing up the, uh, the uh, top and bottom. And then from here I put my two degrees on the head. Make sure your one inch side is facing towards you. That's where your uh, 
your angles at where your hand will slide down. Here it is in its somewhat done form. I suppose I could slip the handle on and use it now, but I do a little bit of sandpaper, a little sanding here. I think I'm using 180 grit. And then I switched to a palm sander because it was just taking too long. Now that's, that's some, uh, I think they call it bowl and alley wax or something. I don't know. I've had it for years and uh, it's, uh, it just always looks really nice when you put it on something. Love seeing this part right here. Love to see that color change. I'll do the head of the mallet. I should have used linseed oil on this or some type of a tongue oil or something. Uh, the wax was nice, but when it dried up, the color faded a little bit. The linseed oil would have kept it looking that same dark color. Now right here, I just fit the handle, and I'm getting ready to trim the uh, that top little nub off. You can't see it, sorry. Didn't show the bandsaw lopping that off. And here I just chamfer the corners a little bit, sand it, and put a little wax on. Fit quite nicely. That's what I like about the making the handle on the CNC is you take the guesswork out of that angle and everything. Made the program actually on my iPad I had a CAD type program and then transferred it to CAD after I drew it on my iPad and I'm um, using Mach th I use Mach 3 on my uh, CNC router along with two I think it's called cut 2d or something like that to do the uh, setup for the bit and here it is complete and this is how I burn my logo in I just heat it up with a torch I made this logo uh, years ago a buddy of mine lasered it out for me and then I just tacked it on here with a TIG welder and then migged it on, migged the back plate to a uh, half inch rod. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.